Welcome back to the classroom. Come on in. No late pass required. Today, we are getting a little bit of Vox Machina finally with the season two Red Band trailer for Legend of Vox Machina. Now, as many of you guys know, especially if you've been here since um, the beginning of this year, it was this show that really helped jumpstart the channel. You guys were very adamant on how good it was and really encouraging me to um, pursue this and critical role and as of this moment I am <laughs> totally caught up with critical role up to where the show has gotten to at this point and most of me wants to kind of keep it that way and go in totally blind into season two other than knowing that the chroma conclave is this just absolute straight up unit of dragons that come in and start just taking care of business like i don't know much else and so i'm really excited to see where that goes and i kind of want to be surprised but you know let me know what you guys think down in the comments if you'd rather me um you know continue with critical role and watch that first and then go to the show or if i should still like totally go in blind because that's what i i think i want to do but if you guys would prefer something different then I'll obviously you know make sure to let me know but I am super excited about this. They left off on a serious cliffhanger at the end of season two, and I absolutely cannot wait for this. So let's jump right into the video. All right, season two, Red Van Trailer of Legend of Vox Machina. Let's get into it. Oh, yep, yeah, that's where they left off. Oh. Oh, dragons attacking together. Not a thing that usually happens. It's like the end of the world. And what exactly is the plan against four dragons? Fuck shit. Ah! Oh, um, oh, uh -oh. oh, buddy. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Yes, the horse. Yes. Yo, Krog has his beard. Oh, that's a new record. Usually takes us ten minutes to get kicked out of a palace. <laughs> oh. His weapons were created to strike down the gods. Find them to defeat the dragons. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> the dwarven belt. Yo. We pissed it off. We don't have that effect on people. We're trying to save the world. Uh. Yo. You are super fun. <laughs> That's new. <laughs> oh my goodness. We get inside that dragon. Or a mouthful of acid. No way. Oh jeez. Oh god. <laughs> The Legend of Vox Machina premieres <laughs> January 20th only on January 20th. Walter Ice Cubes. What are you Don't you worry, Uncle Grumpy is going to keep you warm. It's actually kind of cozy. This looks great. So we just finished watching the Red Van trailer for Legend of Fox Machina season two, and it it really looks like it's gonna hold up the level of quality and humor that we saw in the uh, first season. Um, I'm interested to see how they play some of the real moments as well. Like obviously they were showing like you know this kind of looks like the end of the world. Um, I'm really curious to see like what some of those like big almost like deity type creatures that are like looking down on everybody are like i i have no idea what that could potentially be like the uh pantheon i believe inside of the original critical role was kept mostly to uh D, &D but obviously they had to change around a lot of stuff for the show because they couldn't use things like uh uh bixby's giant hand they had to make it you know skeleton and so <laughs> um, I'm curious to see 
what these gods might be. Um, all of these dragons teaming up. Yeah, usually they're solo. They they don't usually team up, and it's to have all these dragons working together is insane. So I love it. <laughs> I love how they have like the um, the wanted poster of Vex and Vax behind them as they're standing in front of it. Um, obviously, I feel like, um, you know, it'll probably take less of a focus on Percy. Um, we might see, um, I wouldn't be surprised if we get a little focus on, uh, Vexalia, just simply because she has an affinity for dragons. I wonder if there's any connection with her backstory about, um, the, obviously the dragon, uh, killing her family, um, and, you know, both, uh, both her... Um, and her brother, obviously, but uh, her having like kind of like the sixth sense about it. And uh, yeah, I just wonder if they're going to end up doing anything with that. It's cool to see like it looks like some recurring characters from uh, Whitestone uh, from last season, which would be really cool. Um, a lot of funny stuff. This the the humor in this is just beyond hilarious. And I adore all of these characters it looks like they're gonna have some epic moments we're seeing almost like a cool blend of uh 2d and 3d animation especially with them almost seeming to like dive deep into like some of like the higher powers at work in this universe and you know this bumbling band of <laughs> mercenaries attempting to get through it the I'm so happy they threw in the Dwarven Belt. That was always uh, absolutely hilarious whenever that came up and like had to roll a D100 to see if he grew a beard for that day. Because <laughs> Goliaths aren't supposed to grow beards, but it is phenomenal that they added in there for uh, those individuals that may, <laughs> may or may not know where that comes from. Um, now, I wonder, the group here... Uh, with Scanlan singing, I wonder if that's going to be, um, well, potential spoilers here for anybody who is, um, still getting through Critical Role. I did get to this part, and I, it, they might have just been throwing it in at this point, but I think that might be Scanlan's daughter who, like, tricks him. And it'd be cool if they end up doing that storyline as well, because, um, I literally just got past that. And they, they seem to be trying to fit a lot in here uh, for the season. I wonder how many episodes it's going to be, if it's going to be like the same general amount of time that we might get. Um, that one, like, <laughs> them, I, I'm going to assume hallucinating because um, <laughs> they're... The, the bear obviously doesn't um, it doesn't talk and so seeing trinket like laying there seductively like I'm I have no context for that at all I'm really curious just to see how they end up dealing with this obviously the mature themes are still very much there the humor is still very much on brand um, I'm curious to see how they um, kind of balance out the serious moments because that was also some of my favorite parts of the original show and obviously that show made me laugh and made me cheer it made me cry and i'm uh, i'm looking forward to more of that so what did you guys think because this <laughs> there was a lot and it was going really really fast and i might have missed a couple things so feel free to let me know in the comments anything that i might have missed in this trailer and um like i said i've gotten to about like um i, I forget what episode it was but i'm, I'm i've gotten to about like right before the chroma conclave shows up i believe and so i try to keep it to within like that time frame of like episode one obviously of uh critical role up to that point i forget what episode specifically it is but i'll have to look it up um but if you enjoyed this make sure to like and subscribe so that you don't miss a thing and in the meantime class you are officially dismissed i will see you in the next video peace out everybody